I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. You want to see what the mask sees? No, she doesn't. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. It's another world. It's lighter. It's nicer. I like it here. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. He's always looking Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And 
Senna explored new paths into the unknown. You can't, you can't, you can't. Not in this world. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. Way up there. You're, the she can 
Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. that are most precious to you. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. You have no time for this. Speed is up. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise.
You are guilty. Was it worth it? Nobody will love her. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the thing she does. Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf. who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. We had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinwa. Disappeared. 
Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. Inside, you're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. Oh, they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Where am I? 